Welcome back to the Love and Dubai show. Calling all Supercross fans, Abu Dhabi is hosting its first ever international Supercross event, the FIM World Supercross Abu Dhabi Grand Prix on November 4th and 5th. It's all happening down at the Etihad Arena on Yas Island. And here to tell us more about it, we're going to be joined by two Supercross superstars, Anthony Rodriguez and Max Ansi. Thank you so much for joining the show. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Thank you. Cheers, Abu Zal. Thank you for having us. Not at all. I, I appreciate your time, guys. Welcome to the UAE. Have you had a chance to get out and get some practice ahead of the event? Yeah, we've made it out. We, we managed to get out of the desert a little bit yesterday. Um, we we're feeling out these have a good look around. Uh, yeah, we're loving it in here. What's the terrain like? Uh, what's it like going as fast as you can on the UAE dunes? Like, it must be pretty exhilarating. Yeah, it's definitely something I'm going to make it pretty often. It's a little bit behind on our sport, but it was definitely a fun activity to do yesterday. Uh, for the race, it's actually something we never get to see the third or the track that we're racing until the day of the race. So that's something that we have to be proactive to work the track quick. So that's another challenging part of the sport as well. Massey, so you have no idea what the loops are going to be. It's not like F1 where you go to get practice. You don't know what's coming up on the day. Yeah, not at all. We get 15 minutes practice yeah, yeah, exactly. We, we've uh, got to learn fast. Well, so as in, can you describe what a Supercross event is like to us? Like I said, it's the first time it's coming to Abu Dhabi, so you need to give us a rundown of what's actually going to happen on the day. So, Supercross, we uh, we have qualified in the morning. We, we're race, racing dirt bikes um, in the stadium. The track is, I don't know, between uh, 45 seconds and a minute, uh, and a minute long. Um, we have qualifying... And then we go into our races, our main event racing. There's uh, there's big show in between all of that. There's pyrotechnics, DJs, um, free start events. And then uh, the 20 of the best, um, you know, the, the world's fastest supercross races uh, in the 250 and 450 class um, go go racing. And, uh, and we try and go as fast as we can and, and uh, not not crash. I had uh, I, I did not get to the finish like that, finish like that front place. There's jumps and... And, and a track we've got, you know, the three main events. Uh, yeah, it's going to be very intense. Uh, a, a lot of uh, a lot of hard racing. Unlike uh, an F1 or uh, or car racing, it's you know contacts allowed in our sport. So uh, yeah, that's that's the way we move forward and, and pass guys. Uh, you know, without taking yourself out, you've got to uh, yeah be able to jump and, and pass the guys as fast as you can. So so yeah, I'm going to stop you right there. You're allowed contact. In the middle of this race, what speeds are you going? You're saying the bikes are allowed to touch, you're allowed to push people out of the way? Yes, to an extent, there was a limit to it. Um, there's rules to it. You can do what's called a block pass. You cannot do what's called a T-ball. A block pass is where you cut the guy's slide. So basically, you're making him break. Um, you are allowed to hit as low as your front wheel is ahead of his knee, basically. And if he get up be below or behind the knee, that's not allowed. But um, yeah, it can get very tactical and some people end up going down. I can be surprised. There's a lot of contact that actually goes on. That's pretty hard in it in ourselves and nobody goes down. Or just, we grow up learning how to pick it in or get the hit. <laughs> so what would your strategy, if you make it to the top 20, um, what would your strategy be for that final race? Are you just saying go as fast and hard as I can? Are you looking at other competitors? Are you planning to bring someone down? Like, are you guys rivals or are you mates on the track? It's the start. The start is is very important. Now, unlike a car race, um, even if you qualify first, you start on a on a straight line. So we start on grid straight instead of having first place um, clearly ahead. Some of the the line selection gate better for, for a guy who qualifies first, but that guy still is not guaranteed to get. Uh, first place start. So um the fastest guy could be coming to the pack. Um and yeah it's it's get out the gate, get out the front and uh and, and try and spread would be the easiest way, but that doesn't always happen. Um so yeah you've got to plan your passes and move forward and, and be smart and not not do anything that too silly. But in, in this uh intense sport, you know, there's gonna be clashes and people there's carnings everywhere. So you've got to try and avoid that. So logical, but taking risks all at the same time. Love it. Um, so you're in the UAE. We have epic terrain for motocross, for supercross. How do you get into the sport? Like how long have you guys been doing it to get to peak level? For anyone watching, if they want to join, 
Um, how do you get involved? Well, I'm a second in the race chunk racer. Uh, my dad gave me my first bike when I was four years old, and I've been doing it ever since. Uh, wow. But it's not that difficult to get into it if you don't know about the sport. There's plenty of trainers out there. Uh, the community is very welcome, welcoming. So if you got questions to ask, just park next to the rider of the track and they'll lead the way. Uh, it's not that difficult, actually. It's pretty easy to get into the sport. What becomes difficult is to get to a level. It's something you have to do like any other Olympic sport. I mean, we train minimum of five, five to six days a week, whether that's on the bike or on the gym. We have trainers, diets. Uh, fitness is a big part of it. Um, it's very demanding sport. My average heart rate for 20 minute photo is around 195 to 200. So it's a lot more intense that people get to see from the outside. Wow. <laughs> and what about yourself, Max? How did you get involved? Yeah, same. Uh, so I said kind of thing. I was three years old, but could never remember a time without bikes in my life. You know, I, I uh, can't remember anything before bikes. So, so that's it. I, apart from being injured here and there and having, a, having some weeks off uh, for that, it's, yeah, I, I've always been probably the training and it's kind of what I was meant to do. And here we are. Tell me uh, quickly before we get back to the event, what speeds are you going? How high are you jumping? And do you know what's going through your mind when you're pulling off those types of stunts? So we've been doing it. We've been doing it for a long time. It just comes natural to us. It's more of a also memory thing. Triple jumps are around seventy-five pull, I believe. Um, they're similar from track to track, so you kind of know how fast you need to hit it. Uh, you have something to add to that. I mean, my two, three stories up in the air, uh, and I mean, yesterday but we were going pretty fast on the uh, on the F1 track. We, we got to do uh, to do a tour of the F1 track on our bikes and done a few wheelies down the straight. And um, epic. Yeah, I don't actually know the the top speed, but the, the bikes are they're going pretty fast. Um, and and it's, it's very close. That's the thing. Like we could be this far off each other, jumping a jump that set by feet. Uh, and through stories in the air. So, um, yeah, it's tight, very tense. You don't want to make a mistake in that scenario, especially when you're in the air. Cause it's a long way to fall. Yeah, our wheels are almost off the ground more than they are on the ground, so we're not going that fast. It's a very difficult sport, so it's more about technique and stuff like that, where it differs a little bit from watercross, where you get to go a little fa faster because you're outdoors. Supercross is more like jump, 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 jump turn, Jump, jump, jump. Acceleration, oh, acceleration, and short, sharp stuff. You know, I have to be honest, I'm learning a lot more about Supercross as I chat to you guys, and I'm waiting for the Netflix show, like tennis, golf, yeah, but this sounds like so thrilling. Um, very quickly, 4th and 5th of November at the Etihad Arena, the FIM World Supercross Championship is coming for the very first time. What can we expect as an audience? Oh, Matt, for you guys, it, it's going to be an intense, action-packed show for sure. There's there's our main event, which is the the, the top twenty guys in the uh, in the world, um, showcasing their in their in their skills here in, in the in Abu Dhabi, and being able to uh, to to race at this level all around the world is is pretty something special. Um, there's pyrotechnics, and uh, there's there's freestyle motocross, there's backflips and stuff involved with all of that. There's uh, there's DJs. Um, it's a, it's a big show, and then and then yeah, our main events go uh, head to head as fast as we can to, to take that gold gold medal well guys wishing you the very best of luck two legends of the sport anthony rodriguez and max ansi thank you so much for your time today i truly appreciate it have a blast at abu dhabi and we'll see you at the live show thank you so much